All right, people, what is going on? ADS Play 101 here with my third reaction for the day. This is the Naruto Ninja Storm Connections uh, trailer. And um, I have something I probably want to say at the end of this. Um, cause I'm actually happy that they're doing this. Like, I, like I'm happy that they're doing it, but I kind of have my opinions on it. So, let's... Um, Let's just take a look at the trailer and see. Peggy 12. Peggy 12. さ、死死をが限りってはね。どうしんだ。絶望を知れ。逃げられる。これならどうだい。無視けるだけ。俺の勝ちだ。火の意志を舐めるなよ。気をつけてやる。今こそ裁きの時だ。待てよ。弱いものは。
if they had fights in the manga, you could put them as DLC because people would have paid for that. You know what I mean? So if they would have did that right, then the game would have been more successful as well as have like a decent, you know, tournament scene and, you know, dev support, and, you know, developer support. The game would have lasted longer, but the game died within like three months when the game came out. Then, then you take One Punch Man, a hero nobody knows. That game literally died within the beta. When the game launched, nobody played that shit. Like, I'm not, I'm not even joking. Like, the game, yeah, no one streamed it. No one did nothing with it because we already knew that, you know, when it comes to games, people just want to be cheap. There is no video game out there that is as cheap as anime tie-ins because they have to connect the characters in the game with how they are in the anime. And if the character is overpowered in the anime, they're going to make them that way in the game. So you think of uh, Saitama, who's overpowered as shit in One Punch Man. When they put him in the game, he had super armor. He had one hit knockouts. I mean, it was just like they had to make a dream version, basically like an alternate version just to make them balanced. And people still played it, and it just it, it completely killed any desire to want to play the game because you know everybody and their mom is just going to pick this overpowered character. You know, um, you know, somewhat they tried to do it with uh, Jump Force, and that game flopped for spammable reasons, no pun intended. Uh, they tried to do it again with. Uh, My Hero Academia 1's Justice, that game died because of Jump Force. Um, <laughs> and Jump Force died, so it's just like, literally, like, anime arena fighters have been dealing with, have been taking some serious blows. Because they have not been good, they've been overpowered, cheap cash in, pieces of shit. And Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2 and 3... And the Naruto series were the only anime arena fighters that got it right. You know, Budokai Tenkaichi was like the first one that, that this was before anime arena fighters was actually a label that they put on games. But that was the, that, historically, that was the first one. There's probably one before that, but Budokai Tenkaichi was the first anime arena fighter technically that got it right. And then after that, it was the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm games that got it right as well. And then you cope that with that was one of the big three, you know, along with, you know, when, with One Piece and Bleach that kind of pushed anime into the Western world um, and got it popular. Uh, that coped with the fact that it was a it was more so of a balanced game than what any, you know, it was one that got it right. Even to this day, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm went three. I think it is either Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, I want to say 4. Like, what was the last one that they put out? Was it 3 or 4? I don't remember. But they still have side tournaments for those games at, like, some of the big tournament scenes. They're not premier tournaments, but they still have them on the side. So the game still has some life to it. And the fact that they're bringing it with a new package like this means that it's going to get some new life breathed into it. And hopefully it gets more people interested in playing naruto ultimate ninja storm again so that aspect of it that I, I love because i can honestly see this kind of bringing new life to a genre a new genre like anime arena fighters that have been failing since you know the aforementioned games um so i am happy that they're doing this and they're adding new characters my thing is there is a way that this can fail and I'm kind of now, I kind of don't want to speak that into existence because this was the one that kind of helped the genre. Actually, Anime Arena Fighters started being called Anime Arena Fighters when the Ultimate Ninja Story games came to be. So <laughs> there you go. But I really do hope that this brings attention back to a great game and a great uh, and, 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 
and breathes new life into a genre that's been dying. Oh, and V Jump All Stars. That was another one that flopped. Like pff, we ain't gonna even talk about that one. That that came from Japan and they nerfed the hell out of that game when it came to the West. You know, V Jump All Stars. If you don't know about that, look it up. That was another anime arena fighter that just didn't do well. That was like Jump Force's ancestor. But um then you had the Bleach Blade Battlers. That didn't really do good. That didn't even get a Western release. That game died in Japan. That didn't even that didn't, that didn't even have a damn tournament scene. Bruh. It's it's a few. Um But yeah. I'm hoping good things happen with this. You know, yeah, let's get the new characters in there, but you know, support the game with the DLC from the characters from Nar from, uh, from from the Boruto series. Let's see them in the game as well. Like you know, so hopefully that happens. So I'm excited for it, but I can see how it can mess up. But I have more hope that it's 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 going to go right. So with that being said, man, thank you guys for watching. Peace. See you guys for the next reaction.